welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shannon Montgomery. I am the owner of Montgomery Law PLLC, and I'm the only attorney. I don't work with anybody else. It's just me. So welcome to this channel. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad you did. Today's video is going to be kind of in line with the last video I posted, which was a quick copyright fact. Today's video is less of a fact, more of a copyright clarification. This is a common misconception in the copyright world. But before we get into that, the disclaimer, I am a lawyer, I am not your lawyer. This is not meant to be legal advice, just some legal information in case, you know, you had questions about it. What else? Oh, I am licensed in Florida and California, but I live in Texas, not licensed practice here. Um, but that's neither here nor there because I'm not your lawyer. But in any event, so let's get into it. Copyright is an extremely confusing area of the law for a lot of people and reference my last video. I also have other videos on here that kind of explain what a copyright is and what I mean by that. So today, all I wanna to talk to you about is this one little tiny misconception and it actually came up this week for me. So here's the thing. A lot of people think that if you borrow someone's content and you give them credit, that it's not copyright infringement but that's actually not true at all. It is still considered copyright infringement and because you've given them credit, it's actually probably worse for you because now it shows that you knew that the thing that you shared or used or whatever wasn't yours. And so unless you had the permission to do that or the proper license um, to do that, then you're gonna get in trouble. Copyright is a strict liability offense. So if you infringe on someone's rights, it doesn't really matter whether or not you knew that it was wrong or that you intended to do it. It, do, it, it doesn't matter, you did it, so you're gonna get in trouble for it. So that said, copyrighted material. I've been over this a lot, a lot on this channel and on my website, which I will link below on my Instagram, which I will put down below as well. Basically, anything and everything that has a small amount of creativity uh, that is fixed into a tangible medium, so something you can touch or hear or see, uh, is copyrighted. So anything you see on the internet, especially on Google Images, most of those images, in fact, probably all of them, have a copyright associated with it. It's just a matter of whether or not the copyright owner actually cares about that piece of copyrightable content. And if they do care and you use it and you credit it saying, oh, I found this on Google Images, or oh, I found this on, you know, yada yada, now you're just giving them even more reason to get mad at you. So, to sum it up, if you find something on the internet or if you find something, I don't care, in a book, whatever, and it's copyright protected, like almost everything is, and you wanna use it in your, I don't know, article, post, blog post, whatever the case may be, don't use it unless you have permission or a license to do so because simply giving attribution does not absolve you of copyright infringement. So that's my tip for today. Check back next week and, or maybe the week after, for another quick copyright tip fact, uh, misconception, because I am hoping to share quite a few of these since it is so confusing for a lot of people. And so that's it. Thanks for joining me. If you like the videos, watch a few of the other ones. Maybe I'll help teach you something and subscribe. I would love that. And of course, if you have questions, leave a comment down below. My email will also be in the box below. So feel free to email me if you have questions. Uh, have a great day, guys.